I have no choice. I have to make it. This has to be my time. I have spent so much of my life wishing and hoping of this one thing that I've always wanted. And you know what? I'm I'm tired of wishing for it. I'm I'm going after it. This is happening for me. I'm going to make sure and make damn sure that I get what I want because I deserve it. I will be a professional dancer. Watch me. I'm the, I'm the illest. Rolling up like I already did it. With the subs up, you better listen. I'm about to make myself some protein waffles. Come along for like a day in my life, but also a life update. But also a um, progress report on my dance journey. I've always felt like that my journey is supposed to look one way. Uh, in college, if you had told me this is the path that I'm pursuing, I would have thought you were crazy. Joke's on you, this is how it's actually gonna be. And even now, I'm still trying to control how I think my career should look. This is me saying that I am letting go um, and how it will be, well, how it will be. I'm going to continue training. I'm gonna take the necessary classes that I need to be to get to where I want to be, but I'm, I'm done trying to shape a narrative of what I think I'm supposed to do and what I'm supposed to be and I'm just gonna let it happen. Um, how it happens is how it happens. I'm, I'm, I am gonna take a step back from creating long form content um, to focus on short form content because right now it is the most successful avenue for me. Um, and that's okay. It's not really necessarily how I've always planned it out to be. It's what's getting the attention. It's what's holding you guys. You guys enjoy it a lot. I know you guys enjoy my long form. So I'm not, not uploading long form. I think I'm just gonna be more intentional about the long form that I create, so there's just gonna be a little bit less of it. I am going to also be changing my upload date. I think I'm gonna change it to Sunday because I am in a portion of my career as a content creator right now where I can experiment a little bit. My audience isn't so big that um, I don't have some room. I've posted long form videos on YouTube for seven years. Um, and it wasn't until I started posting short form that things really started being attracted to me. And so um, I'm gonna see how that works for a little bit. And then long form videos get uploaded on Sundays because you guys like to watch my videos throughout the week. The weekends, y'all are doing your own thing. So I feel like if I post it on Sunday, you guys can take the whole week to watch it. Kind of excited to try this out. Um, and I'm excited that you guys are here with me. For those of you that do watch my long form content and enjoy it, thank you. I'm still gonna keep posting, just a little bit less. And it's a lot. I am at my friend's house right now. As you can see, this is not my home. Um, because I am house sitting for a little bit while they are away. I My ankle is doing better, so I have started taking dance classes again. I'm excited for that. Um, I just, I wanted to give you guys a little life update of like everything going on. I just finished Bridgerton, and um, because I have access to Netflix for the time being, I'm gonna go watch all the shows that I um, refuse to pay Netflix to, to watch. <laughs> Hey boo, it's BB. Here we talk about my dance journey, Taylor Swift amongst other music, and a bunch of my lifestyle stuff that I've got going on. Why don't you go ahead and hit subscribe and then you could be a part of my YouTube fam, which I call my besties. So you can be a bestie from the start if you subscribe now. Love ya, bye. Girl, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of it's gross, gross outside. outside. It's rainy and nasty and dark. It's literally only like 4 p.m. Literally just about to plan to film. Love that for me. When I started this vlog, it was so nice and bright outside. And you know, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little gross and rainy. The fit? 
The fit is fitting. I feel like I look so good in this outfit. You can't tell me nothing. Anywho, I've been editing a little bit, uh, editing this video, because it's gotta go up in a day or two. This is so bright. <laughs> Uh, I did a couple of TikTok dances earlier today, and the plan is to do a few more before the end of the day. Just hanging out today and getting some work done. Because I haven't uploaded a video in like three weeks, so I'm really, I really want to get this video out. Um, I, feel, I just feel really good today. I feel really good today, but because I haven't, you know, posted a video in a while, I feel like I have forgotten how to vlog. Um, so if this video feels awkward, sorry. <laughs> I have forgotten how to film, I've forgotten how to edit, but we're vibing. Hey. I've always felt like that I, I am working hard and there's a lot that I'm doing that not a lot of other people do, but I also feel like I'm always just not doing enough. I just always feel like, you know, like, I, you're getting it done, girl. Woo, woo, you know, good for you. And um, I just, I always get that imposter syndrome, almost, of like, okay, yeah, you're good, but you're not good enough. Yeah, you're doing it, but like, have you made it yet? Sometimes there are moments and days where I just feel like it's, it's not gonna happen for me. And, it it really sucks because I, on one hand, I feel like I have no choice and I have to do this um, for myself, for to prove people wrong. On the other hand, I'm like, you know what? I I have nothing to prove to anybody. I am what I say I am, which is a professional dancer in training and a content creator. However, success to me in those things is making it a profession. Um, of which I have done neither. Um, I have not made money from any of those things. Content creation, dancing, you know, I can get gifted things all the time, but that doesn't pay my bills. And I so desperately want to prove to my family, my friends, um, that this is, it has been worth it. My sacrifice and efforts and the the things that I have put myself through, that I have put like, my husband through, it is all worth it. Is all of this dedication and hard work paying off or am I putting myself and my family just through everything that we've been through going through for nothing? I don't know anymore, you know? And so that's why I've just decided to let go and what happens happens and how it happens is how it happened. Part of me feels like, like I said earlier, that I should stop creating long form content because it's not, it's not the content that's doing the best. You know, my shorts content is doing great. There comes those days when my shorts content doesn't do great and only gets a couple hundred views. I think there is a sense of needing validation from the internet that I have to deal with and that I have, forced upon myself that I need in order to be good at something. And I'm talking with my therapist about it. I have started uh, antidepressants. I am on Zoloft. Um, that is a journey that I'm moving into now. And so far I feel great on it. Um, but there's still those, you know, it doesn't, it's not a miracle thing. It's not gonna fix me overnight. Um, and it's not gonna fix me at all if I don't try. You know, I'm just having a lot of doubts this week and very inspired by the DCC Cheerleaders, America's Sweethearts documentary. Um, I rewatched Cheer this week. I'm just feeling very inspired to share my story and my struggles along with my success, if you can even call it that. Um, this is just kind of like a Hail Mary, if you will, this video. It's like a, uh, hey, here's my, not necessarily final attempt, but like, this is me trying. A little Taylor Swift moment for you. So, yeah. I just spent the last like 
20, 30 minutes. Dancing, learning a like cheer dance thing on TikTok. It's the She's Country dance. It, I think it was popular last fall or whatever for about 10 minutes to um, probably longer than 10 minutes. You perform it properly and girl, it just was not happening. So like, I was saved in my drafts. But we're gonna try again tomorrow. Usually what happens is, is I can uh, learn it, practice it until like I'm just, I can't do it anymore and I start getting tired and sloppy. And then the next day I can go over it. It's gonna be a hundred times better. Cause I've got it up here. I mean, let's sit down and I want to sit, I want to sit down with you and write out my goals and my plans to get there. First of all, thank you to Soraya. I'm using her notebook. It's just really pretty. Thanks, girly. <laughs> my weekly workout routine and classes that I'm gonna take, etc. I've already got them on my phone, um, but I also wanna write them out because it's just a form of helping them come true manifesting if you will so as we all know I absolutely love to walk and so walking is on it's on my to do every single day because um, it's low intensity but I can also just get some fresh air outside or just move my body like if I don't want to do anything else I can just walk and move my body Okay, so, so far I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then some monthly options. So things that I don't have to do necessarily every week, but are available to me, for me to do like a couple times a month. Walking goes every day. I'm striving for an hour and a half. But I also know that with these other things going on, if I don't make it to walking for an hour and a half, like it's, it's okay. I don't have to walk for an hour and a half because I'm doing other things throughout the week. Um, any amount of walking, like 30 minutes or more, is enough for me. I would love to do yoga every single day. Um, but I think starting out a couple times a week would be good because it'll help me just get started. Because if it's too many times a week, I'm not going to stick to it. So I think I'm going to put yoga on Monday, Wednesday. I'll do Friday as well. Three. I want to do yoga four days a week. So we'll do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Sunday. Now, keep in mind, this is a workout schedule for me to get into like elite physical fitness for my dance auditions. So this might seem a little crazy, um, but it's really not. I also wanna do Pilates a couple times a week. Um, because I teach dance on Tuesdays, I'm gonna go ahead and put that because even teaching dance is a workout. Um, I'm gonna put Pilates on Tuesdays and Saturdays because Pilates will help me engage my core. It'll help me, um, yes, build muscle, but also be a proper warm up before I go teach. I do wanna add a note that most of these workouts are going to be me working out at home. Not a lot of these will be in classes, and if they are, I will be sure to document those for you, but just have the information and the knowledge that 90% of these Pilates yoga things are not happening in a studio. These are happening at my house. So these are at home workouts that I'm finding on YouTube, whatever, whatever. So they're free. The only things I'm really paying for are dance classes the rest of this year because it'll be, it'll allow me to like warm up a lot of muscles in my body where walking is just kind of like, it's good for your heart, but Pilates is going to like help me warm up my muscles. So that way I can teach better um and then on saturdays again just because it's like saturday's chill as for dance classes i have dance classes for myself that i am taking that i am training on thursdays so i will do dance class on thursdays um i will do an online dance class on mondays and wednesdays and i'm also going to put an optional dance online class 
or in person. I mean, all of these are optional online or in person, except for my Wednesday and Thursday classes. There are a couple online dance studios that I uh, do drop-in classes with, and um, on every first Thursday of the month is a NFL, like, professional prep class with a former Dallas Cowboys cheerleader, so I'm gonna be taking that, um, and then sometimes on Wednesdays they have drop-in classes for, um, like jazz and palm, so I'm gonna be doing that as well. Um, and then I have an online subscription to um, Dance 101, which is a studio in Atlanta, so I could go there from time to time, so that's gonna go in my monthly classes. Uh, and then I also have Dance From Home subscription, which is Megan Bowen. I have access to some of the live streams. I do have like replays all of the replays are available for me to watch and so i can have that you know option so as of right now we have mondays yoga walking online dance tuesdays is pilates walking and teaching dance wednesdays is yoga walking online dance sometimes drop in sometimes it's just me following a video thursday we have walking and dance class just just the two um and then friday we have yoga walking online dance class saturday we have pilates walking and then sunday we have yoga walking i like that for now so yeah that's that's my plan that is that is my weekly plan for training um at least until January and then starting in January early 2025 I will start taking prep classes for the NFL NBA um, auditions my goal is to be a professional dancer point blank period um, but right now my very specific niche goal auditioning for an NBA team an NFL team and getting on those dance teams or I do have a couple of other auditions in mind like Universal, Disney World, um, theme park contract dream of which I never really thought about going into those types of like that professional dance world out of NBA and NFL. It never really occurred to me that I could do that until last year. And so it's been a newfound dream of mine because I never really had like a specific direction I was going with my dance career. I just I was like, I know I want to be a dancer. And eventually I would also love to audition for commercial work like TV and film. Um, so I'm gonna put TV slash film on here. And I would also like to audition for live theater. I have several avenues that I would really like to try out, but specifically I am training for NBA, NFL, but I think it's, easier and better if I have just like one goal right now and shoot for that and then see where everything lands. You know what I mean? I also forgot I am going to be auditioning early January, February for a summer dance intensive. So I'm also working out and building towards that as well. That's more like a study opportunity, not necessarily performance or professional opportunity. Um, but it, it's something I, I would love to do. Um, so those are those are my goals. Um, audition as much as possible. Get something. <laughs> That's my only plan. So we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. Over there, who's the hot one with the long hair? Looky, looky.